Yeah, it's empty. After last week, as fun as simulators are, I just had to pull the trigger and buy a drone and everything came. So we're gonna go to the garage and build it. Honestly, don't want to, but. I think that's a good sign. I don't know how to plug this in though. It doesn't seem to fit. Well, it did blow up. That's a good start. Oh, so that's good. It works, yes. So if you don't know, green is good. That means there's no shorts, no smoke. So we passed that test. Now it's on to, I don't know, flight software, I don't know. I'll read the instructions, haven't gotten there yet. Go. Cool. So the build, it, it, it actually went pretty well, surprisingly. I haven't soldered since high school, so I was a little nervous about that. But you know, since I went with the DJI recommended stuff, the flight controller actually just has a plug that the air unit connects to. So it was really just soldering motors into the ESC. So super big pads, you know, you know, or, uh, soldering in the power cord and stuff like that. So the build itself wasn't all that complicated. The frame itself was a little bit small, so it was a little difficult to get things to fit. But other than that, pretty straightforward until you get to the software. Uh, the software is what kind of really threw me for a loop. Uh, I didn't have a ton of issues with that with Betaflight. For the most part, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, setting up UARTs was kind of difficult, but the real issue was I wanted my wires from my motors to my uh, ESC to be super pretty and nice and I shrink wrapped them and everything like that. But that meant that uh, a couple of my motors were spinning in the wrong direction. Now, I didn't even know that you could do any software manipulation with the ESCs, but luckily I found some videos about it and I actually had to download this other software called BL Heli Suite and it was super complicated. I added, yeah. I'm gonna post videos below because I know if you're doing a build like this, you're gonna have similar issues and I'm just gonna send you links to people that know a lot more about it and have super long in-depth videos about it that you can watch and kind of learn like I did. Now, I did think it was only gonna take, you know, four, five, six hours. It took seven, eight hours and I did actually get the drone up in the air a little after midnight and I was in my garage and I actually lost control and let it go flying into the wall. And that's kind of how my night ended. So I didn't end on the best note, but we're gonna take it out of the garage tomorrow. We're gonna to go to a park. I'm gonna bring a couple of buddies and we're gonna see if the simulator skills don't transfer into real life skills now that we actually have a drone. So it's super exciting and we're gonna go find out if that's the case or not. God, this is so stupid. Shouldn't be doing this. All right, that's enough for today.